Cat Noir almost revealed his identity to Marinette, Marinette learned all the secrets about Adrian, and there's so much more! Finally, episode 24 of season 5 has arrived, and it was a bombastic episode! If you're ready, let's talk about what we learned. Of course, there's a sad fact about this episode. This episode came out before episode 23, which kind of breaks the chronological order. It also gives us a huge spoiler, because at the beginning of the episode, an English newscaster reports on the new Parisian mayoral elections. Chloe is gone! As you might remember, at the end of the other episode, Chloe was the mayor of Paris. That means our superheroes somehow managed to show people that Chloe is actually a villain. It's also pretty suspicious, because collaboration between Chloe and Monarch should have been a really strong and evil connection. Anyways, as I suspected, Adrian was sent to London. He couldn't participate in the end-of-year ball. However, we do get to see an interesting detail. The newscaster shifts to news about Adrian and Kagami, who have arrived in London as the royal couple of fashion. Tomoe and Gabriel are forcing their children to work for commercial purposes, and it's really sad to see these characters faking their emotions. Adrian is watching the news coverage from his room and is clearly unhappy about this. He expresses his frustration to his Kwame, Plog, and decides to visit Marinette in Paris as Cat Noir. However, he doesn't know that because of this escape, he's going to be sent to a room that's basically like a cubicle. This applies to Kagami as well. Kagami is also watching the news coverage and is angry at the fake narrative about her relationship with Adrian. She is comforted by Argos, who appears at her window. He takes her and helps her escape from the hotel in London to bring her to Paris, in order to do something secret, but we've already talked about that before. Of course, as expected, Gabriel is super mad after he's not able to find Adrian anywhere. So, the akumatized villain of this episode is… Night Tormentor. Gabriel transforms into the Night Tormentor. It's a villain who brings nightmares to the person he shoots. During the episode, Night Tormentor visits several places. First one is, naturally, Marinette's house. However, Marinette's not in her room. Nor is she at the end of your dance party. I mean, she was at the beginning, but she quickly left because Felix distracted her. We see some results of the Night Tormentor. However, the most critical belongs to Cat Noir. This is because of the incident that happened in the third episode of Season 5, Destruction. Cat Noir now has a different nightmare than we saw in the episode Sandboy, where Ladybug was his enemy. As you remember, Cat Noir used his cataclysm on Gabriel, who was monarch by mistake. Thus, this left trauma on Cat Noir. But in this nightmare, he sees all of Paris. And it's destroyed! Everyone is turned to stone, including Ladybug. Holding her in his arms, he watches Ladybug disappear. While Cat Noir tries to keep up with this nightmare, Night Tormentor comes and tries to steal his Miraculous. However, we have the team Resistance! Alia, Nino, and the others distract Gabriel. Meanwhile, Kim takes care of Cat Noir. This episode goes a bit differently for Marinette. After Adrian left, Marinette is really sad during the episode. Felix, who mimics Adrian, is seen by Marinette. This is a plan created by both Kagami and Felix. The aim is to reveal all of the story behind the Senti monsters and who Monarch is. Marinette watches a projection of a play in her art classroom that depicts the curious princess and the Lord of War's wife, who both want a child. These should be clear enough to understand who they are. Emily and Amelie. Emily, who is called the Curious Princess, denies her family and is dedicated to marrying the man she fell in love with. And he is Gabriel. When they find the Peacock Miraculous, Adrian is created. On the other hand, Amelie is the one who always obeyed her family's rules and married to a horrible man. This horrible man is Felix's father, Colt. After seeing their success, Emily asks Gabriel if there's a way to make this possible for Colt's wife, Amelie, to have a child as well. Gabriel tells Colt that he has discovered a solution, but there will be a price to pay. So Gabriel takes fame 
Colt gets the peacock miraculous, and thus, Felix is created. However, Colt sees Felix as a monster and treats him really badly. At the same time, Kagami and Felix show that they are ruled by their owners, who are using the peacock miraculous. Seeing all of this, Marinette is shocked, but now everything's clear in her mind. She wakes up and notices that the projector is gone and the day is dawning. She rushes towards the curtain where she saw herself as Ladybug and she pulls it, but behind, she sees a poster of the animated film Ladybug and Cat Noir. She catches her breath and then sees a white feather flying out of the window, which is the signature of the power of the peacock. Marinette smiles, determined, and says, I'll help you. She's going to help Felix and Kagami. And now, she even knows who the monarch is. After being separated and successfully defeating the Akuma, Cap Noir decides to reveal his identity to Marinette. However, once he gets into her room, Night Tormentor power starts to take effect. He sees a flashback of him as Cat Blanc and grabs his head. He then turns back into Adrian and tells Plog that the nightmare is still here because Ladybug didn't perform her special power, Miraculous Ladybug. Don't worry, at the end of the episode, she performs the Miraculous Ladybug, without our cat. He realized that this is way too risky, and revealing his identity could lead to Marinette being destroyed. Adrian transforms into Cat Noir again and flies away, telling Plog to power up. Our last scene, however, gives us a huge hype. This is because it shifts to Gabriel's study slash Sarugi's lab. Gabriel sees the gorilla escorting Adrian into a white-walled room, and Miss Sarugi, who is in her lab, is watching the same images. Gabriel says that everything is under control and that their children will no longer escape them. Tomoe feels happy and says they can finally activate their huge plan. And in episodes 25 and 26, we're going to see this plan. Since they isolated their children, this means the new plan will be attacking everybody. Because just like in the episode Risk, Gabriel sent Adrian away from Paris so he could do the same thing. Oh yeah, in this episode, there are a couple other interesting details. All of a sudden, I mean, a little bit too quick, Felix and Kagami have become an official couple. We see them kissing a few times. But not only that, as I suspected, it was also true that Kagami and Felix now know that Marinette is Ladybug. And again, as I said, Kagami heard them in the episode Perfection when Alia and Marinette spoke about losing all the miraculous. We also get to see a cute moment from Nathaniel and Mark. They're holding each other's hands and looking at each other. Can we say that they're now an official couple, please? Another thing I'm curious about is, how Marinette and Adrian were separated from each other. We see that Marinette wasn't at the party at the beginning of the episode, but she ended up coming later. And now I understand how Adrian won't be able to participate in the final episode. It seems like we're gonna see Marinette using the Cat Miraculous too. How exciting! Okay guys, that's all for this video. This episode was crazy and messed with my feelings in the best way. I really enjoyed every part of it. I tried to analyze each episode to understand what's going to happen in the next ones. So let me know if you think I missed anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment your theories down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!